Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we will be installing the Go programming language. So to get started, you need to make sure you have Homebrew installed. Um, if you don't have it installed, just Google Homebrew, click the first link, and copy and paste this into your terminal. Um, you can also download Go like this and you know do all that unzipping stuff, but Homebrew just makes things a lot easier. So to make sure you have brew installed, um, let's do brew version. Oop, I mean brew dash dash version maybe. Yep, so homebrew 2.2, .2, whatever. All right, so um, let's go ahead and do brew install go. Simple as that. Now, if this is your first time installing go, or using homebrew it might take you know a while but since I've installed it and uninstalled it to show you guys how to do it um, it's gonna be a little bit faster for me now while this is installing uh, we could talk a little more about go uh, go started in Google back in 2007 and it's first version release wasn't actually actually wasn't released until 2012 so it's still a relatively new programming language but the community is growing uh, fast and it's becoming a very robust tool for companies to use to build high-end applications um, okay so it's finished let's run go version to make sure it installed and it did version go one dot whatever um, so Let's go ahead and make our first application. I, I'm inside this empty, oh, let's go ahead and remove this. So just for tutorial sake. So the first thing you wanna do is make a directory, call it whatever, I'll call it first app in this case, um, navigate into it. It's an empty directory, obviously. Let's go ahead and touch a main.go file. This is kind of how most applications will be set up. This one, in this case, this one's a very simple um, application. So there's our main.go file. Whenever you execute a, a go command, a go run command, it looks for this main.go file and checks to see if it's you know, a main application and all that. So that's that's the entry point of every application is that main.go file. So go ahead and open up your favorite text editor or IDE, whatever. In this case, mine is Visual Studio Code. I like it because it's very lightweight, easy to use, and um, yeah, not I'm not dependent on it really. So here we are uh, inside our main.go file what we want to do is declare its package as a main a main package that way go knows run go go knows hey this is a main this is the main package this is where um, I want to start so uh, it's, a, it's also the name of the file that you make anyway um, let's go ahead and import um, a formatter this is part of the standard library. This is kind of like the system.out.print or system.out uh, package used in Java, if you're familiar with Java. Um, but yeah, so func main and brackets or braces. So like I said, this is the main entry point of a main of a Go application. Uh, what we will do first is just do a simple print statement and I will show you guys how this all works. Let's do hello Go. This is cool. Let's go ahead and save it. Now let's go ahead and open up our terminal. 
and make sure we're in the right directory. We are. There's our main.go file. And to execute this, we just want to run a simple old go run main.go. And that's it. That's how you install Go onto your machine and write a very simple application. So please like and subscribe. This is my first YouTube video ever on this channel, and I'm hoping to make more, um, hopefully more videos like this. So yeah, uh, I'll catch you guys next time.